Hello, hello, and welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. Not I'm Matt. I think we're back, so I'm confused. <laughs> Who am I today? You know, some days. Some days I'm gone. Oh, wait. They... Suck. <laughs> well, this Saturday, we're continuing our liqueur series with Chartreuse Green. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. Matt, why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about this? Chartreuse green. And that is a very, very green. That's not dyed. That's actually that color. Cool embossing on there. That's their logo. The chartreuse. It's very cool. 110 proof. Ooh. So I'm interested to see what Will thinks of this. So this is from France, made by the Carthesian monks of the La Grande Chartreuse near Grenoble, France. It is made of 130 alpine herbs, plants, and spices, using the same formula since 1605. It's protected by, by three monks, the only brothers that know it in the whole world. They have a vow of silence, so no one else knows what's in this recipe, which is very cool. Um, there is another version. There's a yellow version, and there's a VEP version, which we, I do have them, and at some point we will review the others as well. It's the only liqueur in the world that is named, that there's an, actually a color named after. The color chartreuse is named after this liqueur, which is really cool. They got their own color named after it. It's also the only naturally occurring green liqueur the world no dye is using this whatsoever that's the color it is when it's made which is really kind of cool um <clears throat> the uh like i said slash the little branch scary? Scary. you said kind of cool i said slash scary <laughs> it's just the herbs and plants you know it's all good but to be um, the only green liqueur like natural with natural liqueur. green like, like, there's like midori and there's uh you're yeah. using something that nobody else has found out how to use yet apparently so it's a well, secret one, like well, I said, super secret, and a vow of silence. Vow of silence. That's right. They so uh, all the herbs are dried in the in an old bakery herb room, which at the monastery, uh, all that's labeled, put into bags, and taken to the Aguanine distillery, which is open in 2017. They're on the seventh distillery for this product, um, so it's kind of cool. So the, the monks own this distillery, which is really awesome. So you look at the website; there's all these monks walking around making this shit, which is really cool. So they've been using the, they macerate for an unknown period, and it's still for an unknown period because they don't tell you squat as far as that goes. Um, it's in taste, every bottle is tasted in the laboratory to make sure it's of the quality to go out. And it's ready when it's ready as far as aging. It does age for several years, though, in a barrel prior to going out. They have a new bottling line going in this year. It's the longest liquor cell in the entire world is of this, of this which is really kind of cool. It, and it's located in uh, Viveron, which is where the previous distillery and age there. The order has been expelled twice from France because crazy shit happens, you know, in the church in Europe. So it happens. Um, they've had several laws put against them. Super duper. What a great time. But they keep coming back. Their last distillery, uh, the fifth version, was destroyed by a landslide. So they had to move all their shit. And it, like, I guess they got out just in time before it was completely destroyed. So that sucks. So then they're moving to the new one because they're having problems with the laws or they currently have the sixth one. So the seventh one is just opening now. So wow. they've had some crazy crap going on with the yeah. So what it's made up of is uh, cinnamon, mace, lemon balm, dried high up flower tops, peppermint, thyme, arnica flowers, genipi, angelica roots. Some of the famous cocktails are the, uh, the Beiju, the Last Word, the Brandy Daisy, the American Piola, the Green Shard, and the Amber Cream. So... We shall see what we think of it. Um, they make all sorts of cool cocktails. Their website's amazing, but like you could spend days reading their website. Like all the articular things are places. Like, there's a bunch of other things out in it, but that's the ones that they know for sure have been in there. Is what we can find out. So it's very interesting, though. Yeah, and it's was, very herbal. Uh -huh. Very impressed. Wait, I get the celery. I want to go visit. It looks really cool. It Ooh, it, it reminds me of. And I've said this before of, of a different liqueur. It reminds me of the seasonings that go into stuffing. Mm, totally does. Could be that celery. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it does smell like celery. It's a lot of herbal, a lot of high alcohol vapors. I'm getting like a saffron rice. Yeah. It definitely could be in kind there. Kind of vibe going on in there. Black pepper, salt, a lot of flowers. There's a lot of pepper. The pepper almost tickles my nose. Lemon. It could be the proof as well, though. It could be the proof. Orange. No, it doesn't burn. Tickles. Peppermint, mint, honey. There's a lot going on in this class. There really is. There is. Um, like a peppercorn. Yeah, and there's a lot of pepper. Wow, like pim pink Hila that pink Himalayan sea, uh, salt. Mm -hmm. Pink salt. Well, I'm going in. Yep. Good. 
Ooh. Mm. Good oil. That's interesting. That is interesting. The proof is right there in front. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it lingers all the way back. Oh, yeah. But there is so much herbal. Mm-hmm. Going and grassy. And grassy and green. Mm-hmm. And, Ooh. I mean, there's a lot going on in that. It's actually pretty good. I got the story on it, too. And mm-hmm. I get oh. a lot of just the dried herbs. Yeah. Yeah. Again, that's coriander, allspice, uh, not allspice, the coriander, the basil, the basil, oregano, parsley. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, even yeah. the thyme. Yeah, a lot of peppermint, black pepper, a in there somewhere. Mm-hmm. Salt, cinnamon, <laughs> cloves, Mary, vanilla, mm-hmm. um, hibiscus. I'm gonna hibiscus in there. Um, a little black tea. It's floral, anise, delicious. Um, I have like no idea what I would use that in, but it's pretty tasty. I like it. See, like the success. We found one he likes. <laughs> I this is this is the first one that I'm like, you know what? I like that. I could hey. sit there and sip on this. And actually, I could see myself sitting there sipping on this on a big cube in the middle of summer when it's hot as crap. Yeah. I'm mowing the grass, and I got that grassy herbalness you don't in the enemy. Grass. All right, when I'm watching the guy <laughs> mow my grass. <laughs> I got the grassy herbal around me anyway. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> hey, it's, like it only it. took, it's a 400 year old recipe. So, you know, we're doing something right. Yeah, we're doing right. something right. If you're, if you're still making the same thing 400 years later when you think about it, there's not many products you can say are that old. There are no whiskeys in this country that old. No. In fact, there's really no whiskeys anywhere that old because a lot of them were illegal for so long right. i was gonna say it wasn't a legal thing for so yeah, long so it's kind of hard <laughs> when they come and kill your whole family and take your still it makes it difficult now there's some gins and stuff that are around for a really long time uh and genevieve and things like that but uh yeah this is one of the oldest liquor products that's con- especially continuous liquor products there's not this um maybe the uh the serrano original i think it's like 1525 but there's not a whole lot older than this one out there. And it's delicious. Yeah, it's pretty darn good. Yep. All right. I like it. And Will likes it, then that we call that a win. Yes, we do. All right. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. And until next time. Keep on crusading for the liquids in your glass. You might just find one. Cheers. Cheers. Chartreuse green. Correct. In five, four. Why did I start waiting there? I don't know. It's just a great question. Three, two.